Hi, welcome to this presentation. My name is Beatriz Lima. I'm a major in dance and currently a bachelor student in dance at the Federal University of Isaza. And I will narrate the presentation of the actions of the pedagogical residency program, the resignification of the school space at the Escola Estadual Padre Álvaro Correa Borges. This work was guided by the professor Rosana Pimenta and derived from an experience report promoted by the experiences I obtained as a scholarship holder of the pedagogical residency program and a student of the licensed degree course in dance at UFV between August 2018 and January 2020. The Pedagogical Residency Program is an initial teacher training program for students who are at the end or halfway through their graduation course. The program provides the immersion of the student resident in the elementary school context. Some of the program's intents are to provide the student a full experience of the real context, routine, and challenges of an elementary school from the pedagogical point of view and to induce further practical training. At the Vassosa City campus of UFV is present the multidisciplinary pedagogical nucleus. It's composed of students and teachers of dance, early childhood education, and pedagogy courses, and also by the preceptors, who are teachers of the public elementary schools. At the Nucleus R Pedagogy, the program's actions were shared in three stages, training, setting, ambience, and conducting. The actions of the program began with training workshops during the months of August and September 2018. The workshops were promoted by the project coordinators Marcia Silva, the PhD Rita Marcia Andrade, and the PhD Rosana Pimenta, with the purpose of providing the preceptors and residents theoretical and practical workshops that addressed both educational and dance subjects. Between October 2018 and January 2018, the residents were shared in groups and designated to one of the three selected schools of the public school system of Vesosa. From that, we would get to know the school's philosophy and routine, have contact with the school community, analyze educational documents, and experience moments in class through the participant observation. During the 2019 school period occurred the conducting stage in which each resident developed pedagogical interventions such as classes, technical visits, and artistic interventions with the students. Under the supervision and coordination of the project, I first designed actions to develop with children in elementary school but addressed the fact that the only possibility of interaction and perspective they had about the school space was the one they used to leave every day according to the school routine, I realized that I should take small steps and start gradually to resignify space, interactions and bodies. In this way, I went backwards with what I had previously planned and systemized the classes so that learning would become more meaningful not only for me as a teacher and for what I wanted the students to learn, but especially for the children and their relationship with the school space. To develop this proposal, an analysis of Gaston Bachelard's work, Poetics of Space, was made, which the concept of poetic image, among others, were appropriated for this work in order to reflect how the human perception of space and its symbolic exchanges are established. Through the poetics of space, I begin to reflect about how school could become a transformative object of the students' perspectives and how the actions could be positively productive for the children. Therefore, I have systemized the classes based on three main questions. Who am I? Where am I? And how am I? Each one of these questions covers particular subjects in specific dance contents which were developed in experimentations with the body in space through playful activities and appreciation of art. 
These actions were planned and carried out with the objective of promoting the resignification and appropriation of the school space by the students. Along this process, the path between their home and the school, the schoolyard, the classrooms, and even their own desks, places they attend daily, became more interesting and full of unknown particularities to be explored. I was able to notice their creativity becoming more and more spontaneous and also their social interactions and spatial notions being enhanced along the classes. It was in the belief that the body should be actively included in the teaching learning process, thinking of the individual as an integral being giving him the right to develop his cognitive, psychological, and expressive abilities that I went in search of resignifying not only the school space, but also the role of the body in the school. Therefore, one of my challenges was to develop a proposal that would go beyond promoting art, a proposal in which it would be viable, steam from art and within the students to resignify, appropriate, reflect, and find new possibilities to experience the world by having the school space as a starting point. And finally, I consider that in this context, art has reached its potential to resignify the school space by acting with its main function as a language, to establish meaningful relations through expressiveness.